Hi, this is Spencer from the Canix Hardware Department, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use your Ohouse Ranger 3000 scale, your Zebra RFD 8500 RFID wand, and the Canix mobile app. And I'm gonna show you how to set all those up to be able to use the auto harvest function in the Canix mobile app so that you can uh, scan and weigh your plants all in one harmonious system. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the settings on the scale because there are a couple things we need to change to make sure it's ready to do uh, exactly what we want it to do and that the app is gonna be able to read the weights we want it to read when we want it to read them. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so we're gonna take a look here at the scale settings. Uh, first things first, there is actually a switch under the scale that you'll have to change. This is called the legal for trade switch, and that locks a lot of different settings on the printer that we need to be unlocked in order to get it to do what we want. So what we're gonna do is slide this all the way. You may have a lock on it like I do, that means it was certified, but you're allowed to turn it off. Um, so slide it all the way to the right. It should, you, it should go kind of quick, but you should also feel it kind of click in over here uh, on the off side. So you'll know it's off when that circle here is no longer lined up, okay? And you'll know for sure when it's off is if you turn it back on and instead of seeing setup when you go to menu, it's gonna go to calibrate. Um, so we'll let it go through its thing. We'll hold down the menu button here and it goes to calibrate. So now I know uh, that I'm not in legal for trade mode. If I was in legal for trade mode, uh, that would say setup here. Okay, so we're gonna go down now to print, which is right here. And then we're going to go to a print. Um, that is going to be what is automatically printing, uh, printing not used physically here, um, but rather uh, writing the data to the Canix app. Um, and we want to allow this to do this whenever it wants. So we are going to change that here to instead of on stable or not interval, not accept, continuous, C-O-N-T there. Um, so that is good. Don't get confused by this one. Uh, if that comes up, uh, that's a different setting. We've changed what we needed to change. So you can go back here and, oops, not a long hold, just to press, uh, and then get back to the uh, main screen here of the scale. And then we'll go from there and I'll show you how to get it connected to the, the Canix mobile app. So in the settings of the mobile app, we're gonna do two things. First, we're gonna make sure that the app is ready to connect with our RFID wand. I've already paired it to my phone. Uh, so I'm going to go to settings here. Then I'm gonna make sure that's checked, Bluetooth scanner. That way I can use my wand uh, or a barcode scanner instead of my phone's camera. So now we gotta to connect to the scale. I have my scale on uh, and I have the blue snap adapter uh, underneath uh, set to ready to pair. Uh, it should be blinking a slow green when it's ready to pair. And you're going to pair to the Canix app, not your phone, because the, uh, we're trying to get data to the app. Um, the app happens to live on your phone, but that's not where the data is going. Um, so that's why we're connecting through the app, not your phone. Uh, so let's go back to settings again, and you'll see right there, you'll see connect to scale. Uh, so like I said... Uh, mine is already ready for me. DB9 is going to be mine. And you'll get scale connected. If it's not a scale, it'll tell you. See, if I tried to connect to that, I believe that's my neighbor's uh, heated coffee mug. If I did that, uh, it would say, I don't know what that is. Um, and frankly, I don't know what that is. Uh, so now we're gonna go to harvest. Now that I know everything's all connected, we're going to go to harvest and we're going to go to uh, create harvest. So let me just type in a name for uh, my plants here. Let me check first what strain I have um, because that can give you issues as well. If you are incorrect on some of that information uh, and this is all set up in my sandbox. So I'm just going to identify what plant I have in the plant tag. Uh, and so I'll be able here to see my strain is despicable weed. Uh, cool, great. Um, so that is perfect. I just scanned one of them here and was able to get everything I needed to know about it. Uh, so that's in my flower room as well. That's good to know. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to create harvest. Now that I know what it is. 
So this is my despicable weed harvest. Uh, I'm going to throw a date on it. We're going to say despicable weed 4-20. Uh, so the location, it is in my flower room. The strain is despicable weed. My weight unit, I'm going to go with grams because that is what is set up on the scale. So make sure if you want to use uh, under here where it says weight unit, uh, make sure you're using the right one that your scale is set to. So if you're on pounds or ounces, change to pounds or ounces here. I know for sure I'm on grams, so I'm going to do that. Add harvest contents. So now you're going to get to this screen here. That's your harvest creation screen, and you're going to click the plus button. Uh, and we're looking for auto harvest. Uh, so auto harvest is what we're going to use here. That is how you're going to get the scale to read uh, what we're putting on there. Um, I'm going to go with auto harvest cumulative because I've got six tags here that I'd like to harvest. Um, so we're going to go with that. So the scan tag. So now you could hear, you heard me beep there. Uh, that means that my wand is ready to be scanning. Um, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to switch over to the other view so you can see what I'm looking at here uh, between the scale and the phone. So I have the scale... Uh, I had already teared my tote here, um, so it's not registering uh, the tote's weight, but you can see in here I got my plant matter. Sorry, I live in Philadelphia. That's just a green bath mat. Um, but I got my tags this year as well uh, for what I am ready to input into my harvest. So things, uh, you'll notice here the star means that things are stable. Um, so especially when you're doing something like tearing, uh, which means taking away the weight of your tote on there so you can just weigh the plant. Um, make sure it's stable before you tear. Uh, I was having some issues earlier because every time it fidgeted or something, it was throwing myself off by a little bit. But if you're on a stable enough uh, platform uh, or table, then you're going to be good. It's going to hit zero uh, or it's going to stabilize rather, and then you'll hit tear and it'll go back to zero where you can load up uh, your plants. New camera angle. So now uh, we're back on the app and we're going to go to auto harvest individual for this for this one. Um, because I'm just play, weighing one plant in this scenario. If I were weighing more, um, I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, so if you couldn't see that there, you'll see your options, and then you'll see auto harvest individual. So that's what I'm going to do to just scan one tag and be able to lock the weight in. So uh, let's say my green bath mat in here is going to be plant 62. So you'll see Canix is pulling in the weight here. Sorry with the angle. Canix is pulling in the weight. We got 970 there. So what we're going to do uh, with our wand is scan it, uh, and it's going to go in. It's going to say, hey, that's 966 grams. That is a big plant. And I'll say, thank you. And then you go back, and it's in your harvest. So you'll see that in there. You can see plant 62 at 977 grams. That is exactly what I'm looking for. Um, so that is how you harvest one tag. So if you're going to do multiple tags... Uh, give me one second to switch things up here, uh, and I will be back to show you how you're going to weigh multiple plants into one tote here. We're back with a new angle. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we are going to weigh um, our plants here and make sure that we have them uh, using auto harvest cumulative. So one thing to be aware of when using any sort of RFID is these are designed to pick up everything. So in the first couple takes when I tried to do this, I was having trouble because... My scanner was picking up the tags I keep under my desk here, uh, which was a problem. Uh, so that's just the nature of RFID. If you want to turn down the antenna power, which will lower that range a little bit, uh, that's going to be through Zebra's uh, 123 RFID app. You can find it on the Play Store uh, or on the App Store, whichever one you're using. Um, you can even use uh, Zebra RFID utilities on Windows. I think it's called, that one's a little more advanced. That's designed for like an IT department who's going to be setting up multiple devices. So if that's something you want to explore, we could talk about. Uh, but for one device on one phone, uh, use the app. It's way quicker uh, and it'll get you to the settings you need faster. Um, and the one you need in this case would be to turn down the power to the antenna. Uh, so you can turn it down so it's pretty close uh, rather than kind of scanning everything. Because if I did that, it's going to get everything on my table here. Uh, and we're going to have problems. Uh, we're going to have problems. Okay, so I'm going to go into auto harvest cumulative. 
And what this is going to do is uh, the dictionary definition here from Canix is uh, cumulative mode can be used to add multiple plants to the same scale slash container. Canix will detect the difference in weight after each scan. Uh, so that's good. Uh, that's what we want. Uh, you can press the tear weight button in Canix between batches of plants. So that's between whole different uh, plant, plant batches here. So uh, what we're going to do then is we are ready here. Uh, basically, it takes a snapshot of the weight as you're going. Um, so for the first one, we're going to use Spider-Man here. We'll put them in here, and you'll see the screen looks pretty much the same. You see tear weight and history, and that'll come up in a second here. So let's call Spider-Man tag 58. So I'll scan. Remember, I'm not scanning over my stuff because I'm going to get other stuff. So I'm scanning over here. You'll see. Uh, so that says 58. Great. You're going to get a couple... Um, you're going to get a couple errors after you do that because I remember how I said before you go into this screen you have to have something uh, on the scale for Canix to detect that something's being sent over because the, the scale is continuously sending weight. Uh, zero reads as nothing, uh, meaning Canix sees nothing. It's going to report no weight detected. Um, that is designed for if your scale's not connecting properly, um, but in this case it is connected properly and it is kind of doing what we need, um, but it isn't exactly... Uh, what we're looking for. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do then is we are going to scan the next one here. Um, so currently uh, we have Spider-Man in there. You just saw me take him out and put him back in. Uh, I'm trying to weigh all this stuff at the same time. So that was plant 58 Spider-Man. Uh, so the next one here we're going to have Goku from the Dragon Ball Z franchise instead of a proper prop. Like I said, he's going to be 59 here. So he'll be tagged 59. We're going to place him in. We're going to scan 59. Okay, and that works. Again, I'm getting some no weight detected, uh, but that properly split it up here, you see. So Spider-Man was 52. He's full of chapstick. Uh, and uh, 31 for Goku because he is not full of chapstick. Uh, he's just a keychain. Um, but you'll see our total weight there that I've been weighing uh, is 82. So that matches up to what I want. So we'll put that tag in there too. And now we're moving on. We are looking for, who are we looking for? That was 59. We're looking for 60 now. Um, we will go with Kamek from the Dragon Ball Z franchise. At least he's green. That kind of works. Uh, so we are going to, like I said, place him in there. We see the scale taking some sort of an effect on there. Okay, now it sees it. So now we're going to tell the scale that, hey, that was 60. Again, these errors are expected um, because it is, the scale is, is kind of at zero, kind of not. Every time you scan, because it's just taking the weight, Canix is automatically separating uh, everything in there. Uh, and you'll see after, it'll be nice and clean. We're also working on cleaning that up. Because uh, we realize anytime you see an error, uh, error of any time, uh, it can be cause for an alarm. But in this case, no, everything's doing what it wants to do, or what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll clean that up. Don't worry, we're we're working on that. Uh, so the next thing I'm gonna weigh, I actually forgot this guy's name. Sorry about that. Uh, so we're gonna weigh him. He's gonna be 61. I think he's killed off in like season one, so that's not my fault. Okay, so he is 61. I'm getting my errors, but I'm also seeing another 31 grams. That's good. These are all from the same brand. That makes sense that they're all the same weight. Uh, so we got that in there. And let me see. I did not put 60 in there. And then our final tag here, we're going to go with a, a Dragon Ball itself. Magical. Um, so the next thing we're going to do, I don't even have to click into the, the scan tag every time. So I had it in my hand. I want to make sure I put it in there. I see some sort of an effect on the weight on there and on there. And what we're going to do is we're going to scan 62. Cool. 62 goes in there. Wow. The Dragon Ball was a little heavier. That's curious. Um, only because I think that one is just like a big chunk of whatever sort of plastic rubber they're using. Anyway, that's an aside. Uh, but we're good now. So now I've weighed those five plants. You can see they're in there. Uh, and that everything has been separated in that history there. So what we can do after that is you go back to harvest and you'll see those are all my plants that I just weighed 
uh, on that screen. And I can submit the harvest to metric from there. I could submit my Despicable Weed 420. And should be good. Yep, good to go. Uh, I can't show you this next part because we are on a Canix sandbox that's not actually hooked up to metric. Um, so I'm getting errors you will not encounter. Um, but that is how you do it. That is how you do both the auto harvest individual where you scan one plant at a time and go back out or you can do the cumulative. That one does require a little extra work uh, only because like we said, there's currently the kind of the guidance system to make sure that you have something on there is working overtime right now. That's the fix I was talking about of how you are going to get weight detected errors, but uh, you don't have to worry about them on the cumulative harvest screen. If you're seeing zeros everywhere and still getting weight not detected, then there's a, a setting setup that we'll talk about. Um, but on that auto harvest cumulative screen, totally expected. So one final sign off here. Thanks for watching. Uh, I know it was a lot of information. Happy to go over uh, anything else. Um, happy to uh, also convert this into a more written guide uh, with less jokes and uh, I guess uh, references to 90s, uh, late 80s anime, if that's not your thing. Um, but we should be good uh, in order to set up everything and run here. Uh, that is uh, how it works. And yeah, again, like I said, happy to answer any questions or to type this out uh, so you have it for the future. I know it is a lot of information at once and I also talk a lot, um, so I get it. Uh, <laughs> I could totally write it down. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Let me know if you need uh, any more help with it. And yeah, I'd be happy to help.